Hello everybody and welcome back to the next part of Let's Play Terraria. In the last episode we just had a kind of mess around because 1.2.4 is out and there's a lot of things we can now do. So how about we pluck ourselves, I don't know how much it is, I think it's 10 from reading the wiki. Let's pluck ourselves 10 Crimsonite bars out and let's go to the workbench because, yes, we can make a... 22% fishing power fishing rod, because today we're going to be doing some fishing, but not just any kind of fishing, no, no children. We're going to be fishing for the boss, because I have figured out how to summon the new boss, but we will be required to go somewhere else first, and now that we have our fishing rod, uh, we've got our bug catcher net, so let us go to save and exit, single player, uh, Dragger, because she's got the thing, and back to Mermaid Scubbles, because we need to go to a glowing mushroom area. As you can see, I was digging around, and we have found a glowing mushroom farm down there, because there is something in the glowing mushroom cave that we need. And as far as I know, because I checked my uh, place, and it doesn't spawn like I, you know, the artificial mushroom biome I, cr I created. It doesn't spawn artificially, it spawns, like, naturally in the cave. That's why I had to go looking for a cave. And we're looking for a, sp a particular type of worm, and this worm summons the boss. So, we'll need to go and... Oh my god, there's a major storm. Oh, gems! Mine. Dragon needs the sapphires. But yeah, we'll be looking for the particular type of... Um, of worm as we descend down into the cavern here. I'm just looking at the mini map screen so you can see where we are. And I'll start using torches. Moment. Well, no, I don't think we can use torches because we're supposed to find it. So if you see something crawling on the ground, let me know. Let me know. Really? Is this all that there is? Is this really all the mushroom farm? It's got to be more down here. What do you say, minor helmet man? No. That just leads to an ice area. Really? Oh shit. That's not good, is it? I don't even know exactly what I'm looking for. It's some kind of worm, but I don't particularly see any worm crawling around on the floor anywhere. Are those spores the worm? Nope. Well then, I mean, I guess we can do the other thing as well while I, while I find a worm. So I will stop it and I'll be back when we find a worm. But I can show you some other things as well that we can do. We might as well try the first part of 1.2.4. Which is, if we fly all the way to the end of the world, penguin. Oh. Why do I always have the magic mirror on? So silly. But yes, if we fly... All the way to this end of the world, I put a dude in a box because I'm I'm always about putting dudes in a box. Come, Gunter, we shall we shall see the dude in the box, and he can give us um, fishing rods if we do quests for him. I don't know exactly how many quests we have to do to get each fishing rod, but like the Crimsonite fishing rod that we made is the best fishing rod we can physically make, and then to get the better ones you have to like talk to this guy. So we might start doing some fishing quests because we might need the golden fishing rod to even summon the boss, but we can try it with the normal one. Like We'll do one quest for this guy, we'll see what the quest is, we'll do one quest for this guy and then um, we'll stop the recording and I'll try and find one of those glowing mushroom worm people mans and go from there so we'll just fly through the night there's the dungeon so I know I'm at the end of the world because it's only a small world so that makes it a lot easier and we'll see what the first quest of this guy is to get ourselves a golden rod so he should be yeah he's still in the box he's still safe this homeless man uh, complete the quest, yes. Those demons in the underworld really like voodoo dolls, but I think that there's a doll out there who was blasted with way too much magic and turned into a fish. And it does stuff on its own. I dare you to go down and get me one. I'd watch for boiling lava because it burns you to death. And they won't get my fish. So we're looking for a guide voodoo fish. Okay. Cool. Um. Quest. Okay, that is the quest. I guess I've accepted the quest. Maybe. 
And um, if we walk back, I know that in the underground jungle, we have like an opening to the hell because the jungle just leads directly down to hell, which is fine by me. So we can just go through the jungle and get to hell. So I, maybe this episode might be one fishing quest because I don't know how fishing works. We might need bait. Uh, we're at 5.21.23. I fucking hate when I do that. But yeah, we're at five minutes. So let's say it takes 10 minutes to get this fish. That's 15 minutes. And then in the next episode, I'll have figured out how to get that glowing worm for the new boss. But we might be able to do it quick. You know, it might only take two minutes to, to drop down. We'll see. We'll see. For now, let's just fly. We can also kill the queen bee if we wanted. Because she dropped some new stuff, so we can see what new stuff the queen bee has to drop. So we'll try, we'll try that. But for now, let's just get to the jungle and drop down to hell and see how fishing actually works. Because we may need bait, and I don't have any bait, to be honest. Uh, I don't know what we even use as bait. Do we just chuck it in and hope for the best? Do we need a lure? Do we need worms? I mean, I know for the boss we need that special worm, but that is just for the boss alone. So I, I don't know. I don't know. Let's also switch to this thing so it'll light our way as we descend downwards. Get out of here, zombie. Uh, is this the way down? Yes, this is the way down as I check my mini-map. So we just now have to fall all the way down to hell. Fall all the way down. Jump over here and down. And over here and down. And we just keep falling. Um, nope, this is the wrong way. If I just keep an eye on that top left this is the correct way this is the way that drops us lower and lower into the depths of hell and there is a beehive there which we'll look at in a moment but for now let's just keep falling all the way down into hell and this should be hell right about now if not we're pretty damn close um, Wow, this is actually a little bit deeper than I thought. There we go, we're at hell. Uh, is there any way that I can just bust in here without having to, like, dig my way through? We'll have to dig a bit, that's fine. So, we'll just dig a bit, we'll take that potion with us, and um, we'll try this fishing rod out. So, I guess we'll fish... Doesn't really matter, does it? Shouldn't matter. So, let's kill this bat so that we can switch to our fishing rod. And then we will fish on this big lava lake, I guess. That seems like the most logical place for a fish to be over the bigger lake. And chuck. Wait, no, there's a zero. No bait? We don't have bait. So we can't fish. Alright, that's fine. Whoa. Yeah, okay, so we can't fish. That's fine. That's fine, so now I know that I will need to get some kind of bait. I'll have to look up what is required for bait. There are people downstairs doing things, making a lot of noise. But what we can do for now is we can check out the um, the new stuff that the Queen Bee drops. Then I will stop it and I will come back with some bait and hopefully that glowing worm bait as well. So we will just kill the Queen Bee and then we'll be back momentarily. So let's just go up and try the queen bee see what she drops which is new and if it is like a craftable item which i believe it is it's like a material we can just take that back to the house at the end of the episode and see what that material yields so the queen bee's hive is just around this corner as you can see on our mini map and i will be back momentarily after we've killed her so we go up and over round we go round we go and there we go. Actually, there's two hives, which makes it easier, but it doesn't really matter which one we take on. We'll just take on this one. All right, what are you, what are you dropping for me, Queen Bee? It's, it was kind of silly to um, to come into this hive because there is a million burning, burning things of death. That was a very silly decision of you. So you're dead. Uh, what did you drop that's new? You dropped a bee wax. You dropped a material of bee wax. Whoa. Is that something else down there? No, it isn't. So she drops bee wax. That's new. That's interesting. Don't know what that does. Why don't we just get rid get rid of the other one and then we'll stop it. And see if she drops anything else. Because maybe there is a percent chance that the other one or there is a percent chance that it's you know, fifty percent bee wax and fifty percent the other thing. I think it is just bee wax, but you know, there's not much information on one point two point four right now, so we'll just stand here. 
And um, yeah, if you come into this this uh, room, this claustrophobic room, Queen Bee, you are going to get screwed, like really bad, because there is a lot of fiery, um, there's a lot of horrible fieriness to your death. So we pick it all up, and Queen Bee mask, Hive wand. Uh, more of that, more bee wax. Yeah, we just get bee wax, right? So I will pause it, or I will stop this recording at ten minutes, and then the next ten minutes we will get some fishing done. So I will see you back down in the underworld after I found what is used for underworld bakes. It might be different, and I will found one of those glowing worms out of the glowing underground cave. So see you in a minute. And we're back in hell, welcome back. It seems like the bait is, or the bait actually is, I'm going to say, the. it seems is the weird truffle bug thing to make the boss spawn, which we'll talk about while we're fishing, but it seems that the uh, the regular bait is just any insect. So I've got some lightning bugs and some butterflies, which I caught from just up top. It's any insect. Any insect will uh, catch the butterflies, and they have a different percent bait power. I don't understand what the bait power means yet. I guess we're going to find out, but lightning bugs have a 35% bait power, and the Monarch Butterfly, which we've got, has got a 5%. So, Lightning Bugs are probably the best. But, you know, that's about what we can do. And then the Truffle Worm has 666% 6, 6, 6 bait power. And obviously that's because it can spawn the boss. So, we're going to chuck our rod in, in here. And, uh, well, actually, we're not going to chuck our rod in just yet. We're going to deal with you first because I don't want to have to deal with you, so we're going to jump, we're going to line ourselves up, fire slime, don't be dealing with you right now, and we uh, we chuck our thing in then, I guess. We've got four bait, not too sure how it works, I guess we're going to find out. That fire, oh god, no, 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 you, you dicks, you dicks, I, oh god, if I, if I don't kill these... My bait's going to... Will my bait disappear if I do this? I hope not. I'm going to try something. Pull! Uh, we still got four bait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You guys need to die. We still got four bait. Why did that not, like, activate? God damn it. How are you supposed to catch anything in hell? I just realized this man, this uh, this stoner on the, on the bench... Or the stoner on the beach is like, uh, if you can go to hell and catch a guide voodoo fish, then it's, uh, it's good. I like the guide voodoo fish, but how are you supposed to get it when fire is going to keep spawning? We didn't lose bait, though. So... Do we just stand still? Possibly. We'll soon figure it out. We'll soon figure it out. I guess we just gotta watch the bobber. Slime, don't scare the fish away. Slime, you, you dick slime. I don't I don't know how you're supposed to fish in hell. I don't know how the hell you're supposed to fish in hell. Let's just let's just read it. Alright, we're gonna throw the line in again. Like right out there. As far as we can. And then I'm just gonna like pause it because there's a fire back coming in. And I'm going to read how we catch a fish here, because it's uh, it's weird. Terraria, did you even test your fishing mechanics? Bait refers to any item that can be used for fishing. If you do not have bait, you, can't, you can use the fishing pole, but you will be unable to catch fish. Most critters that are insects or mollusks work as bait. If truffle worm is used as bait, it will summon the boss, which is obviously what the criteria is, is kind of weird. Types of bait can be caught through the bug net. A piece of bait will only be used when a fish is caught. If you catch random junk, you will not lose any bait in the process. Alright, that's fine, but how do I catch the... Okay, fish. We're just going to search fish. Because I, I can't imagine you've got to go to hell for the guide voodoo fish. It seems very strange that you would have to go to hell to get this thing. Uh, fishing! All items obtained from fishing. Okay, so, variants of fish. Uh, guide voodoo fish. 
Hold on a minute. Guide voodoo fish. Zero. White cavern slash hell. Any. Only during hard mode. Oh, so we have to go to hell in our hard mode world? What's this white? Rarity white. I don't know what white means. Um, well, I guess we're going to hell in hard mode then. So, it is lava, but in hard mode. So, that's okay. We've been recording for four minutes. We've still got like another five minutes left. Sorry, Hellbat. We're in the wrong type of biome. Single player, Dragger's Kingdom. Did I select Dragger? I hope I selected Dragger. No, we just selected my absolutely useless character. Hessel is now playing Nuclear Throne. Hello, Hessel. We're in the wrong character here. Save and exit. Single player. Dragger. Dragger's Kingdom. That's in hard mode. Let's get to hell on Dragger's Kingdom. Hope that no red devils appear. And we'll try again. We'll try again. Nah, no man, no man, no man. Fishing seems like it could be a slight pain, but we'll, we'll soon find out. Oh yeah, I blocked this off because of the frost moon. We can collect that. We can plug it back up when we do the frost moon again, which I kind of don't want to do for a long time because there are some really good potions that would help us with the frost moon, like the wrath potion, which like gives us, I think, 20% increased damage, which would be fantastic for the frost moon. So I'm going to be looking at trying to make some of the new potions before I take on the frost moon. But yeah, let's talk about, and let's just see. First of all, let's get rid of this guy. I've got a bug catch isn't that active. Because the truffle worm... You please! Get the fuck out of here! I'm trying to look at shit. So the truffle worm... Oh god, we got a fucking mimic. This is why I just despise hard mode. Because it's not that it's hard, it's just the fact there's too much shit coming in. Like that big thing down there. So I guess we're not going to find the truffle worm. We're just going to skip it because there's too much shit spawning up there. But yeah, the truffle worm apparently appears in hard mode. So I'm just looking at it there. It appears in an underground mushroom world in hard mode. But it has to be like 17% to appear. I don't understand what 17% is. The wiki's not very clear on it. That's okay though, let's just go down to hell and fish up this guide voodoo doll and fucking things. The spawn rate is way too high in Terraria. I'm sorry, but it just is. It's too high for the amount of shit that you have to deal with. We're almost going to die because we've been trying to fuck around with this fish. <sighs> right, we're here. Number four. Nothing! Oh, of course, of course. Of course, yes, yes, Mr. Mr. Bone Serpent, please come and uh, please come and just appear when I'm about to start fishing. You fucking dick! All right, we throw this in. Catch a fish now, please. Just please, just catch the fucking fish. <laughs> this is hard mode. There's a fucking fire in. You know what, fuck this, we're going to a cavern. I mean, there is a there's a chance that we're going to encounter fucking teleporty men in caverns, but God damn, look at it. I mean that red devil would have also fucked us over, so let's just go find some lava in the fucking cavern. <sighs> there's lava over there. That'll do. That'll do. Because I'm not dealing with Why is there a fire him firing from on high? It's not hell. Fire him. You shouldn't be here. You just should not be here. It's not hell. Hell's down there. Stay where you belong, you goddamn piece of shit. So, they've decided to add a new bullshit mechanic of fishing. Right, so now nothing except for a, a dude should be able to come. We'll just sit here and wait for a fish. Have I got actually inventory space? No, so I will just make inventory space. While well, we're here. So, we don't need this. We don't need fucking stone. And we don't need this stone brick. Actually, we do for the plug it back over for the frost moon. Teleporty man, don't come down here. I'm not in the mood to deal with your shit, teleporty man. 
Uh, that's about it. We're only catching one fish. Right, so we just chuck it in and now we wait, I guess. Can I check, like, the guide voodoo fish statistics while we're waiting? No. I can't. None of the fish actually seem to be checkable. It just says fish type. It doesn't actually tell me how to fish. Various fish can be caught using a fishing pole and bait. By clicking, a player casts a line in the water. And if a player re-clicks when the bobber moves, they will reel in a catch. Oh, it could be sitting here forever. The line will cast when a, wherever the player's cursor is and can ricochet off blocks. Rarer catches will require faster clicks in response to bobber movement. Okay. Well, you know. <laughs> we watch then. I don't know if white is super rare or not. But I guess we're just going to be watching uh, this bobber. Fishing, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> no, I'll just put my cursor over it just in case it decides to move. So, how's everybody's day been? This is what Terraria's evolved into. This is what fishing quests evolve into. I'll give it, let's, let's get our timer up here, because I'm not going for any longer. It's already at 11 minutes, we're at 20 minutes. I will give it, on that timer, until we get to 13, I'll give it 2 minutes, and then I'm just going to say, screw fishing. Like, I know that it's supposed to be real, but how long are we supposed to wait for this bobber to, to move? Like, how do we know there is even a fish in this water? Lava. I don't know. Either way, I'm only giving it one more minute. That's not because I'm impatient, that's just because Terraria... You shouldn't have fishing in Terraria, that's stupid, and this guy's gonna come fuck the... fuck it up, isn't he? Well, I'll be magic coop. If you can't get to me, Archman, I'm gonna be magic mirror in a way. Because I'm not sitting here for 20 minutes trying to get a guide voodoo fish out of this lava for the stoner on the beach. Stoner on the beach is probably lying and guide voodoo fish doesn't even exist. Maybe, actually, you know what? I'll try once more. You know what it might be? Monarch butterfly. 5% fishing. There, it's in the trash. And you know what? There, it's gone. Monarch butterfly is gone. Now we've only got the lightning bugs, which have got 35% bait power. Now, you've got to say that the, the guide voodoo fish pops up at the, at the lightning voodoo doll thing. Lightning bug. That's 35%. Nope, nope, nope. No whatsoever, no. White rarity. I don't know if white is the best or is the most rare rarity, but... There you go! We're getting nothing. We're getting absolutely nothing. Fishing, ladies and gentlemen, fishing. Alright, I'm done. I'm done. I'm not waiting for that. I'm not waiting for that. Yeah, go just shoot me. I'm not waiting for that. I'll try once in hell because of like the, um, you know, it's bigger lava pools, and now we've got that 35% bait catching shenanigans. But I'm not prepared to wait for any long, for much longer. There, we're in hell. Line cast. Make Bobba go. We've got an inventory space for this thing. Make Bobba go now. The second one enemy spawns, and magic mirroring away and seeing what we can make with that bee wax. Oh, there you go, there you go, the you fucking spawns. Enjoy, enjoy your cheap, pathetic victory, chaos spirit. I'll wait for one hell enemy to spawn. And if that, yeah, there comes uh, the magma slime. Oh, he can't reach us, so he's all right. So we'll just we'll just keep waiting. We'll just keep waiting and keep waiting. Is 
fishing, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I just like to point out this is what this is what fucking the mermaid update is. Just fishing. Why didn't they just make the lunar? You know, I think they should have just made the lunar boss. Like, just make the final boss at this point. Yesterday I was so enthralled. I was like, oh my god, there's like a whole new update with fishing and it's gonna be great. And now I've actually seen the fishing and it's absolute fucking bullshit. 40 minutes, alright, that's 40 minutes, no waiting any longer, 